Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you the long-awaited DIY for my subway tile backsplash that I made for right around when 50 to $200, give or take. So if you want to see how I did the backsplash, just keep watching. So the first step in getting ready to put up a backsplash is to take off all of the light switch plates and all of the plug-in plates. I'm sure there's a more technical term for them, but that's what I call them. So I took all of those off and then now I'm just roughing up the surface of the wall a little bit with a sanding disc. I go in with a, quite a few of uh, different materials. I don't know, my husband had me rough it up with like a like a paint stripper and a sanding disc and another paint stripper and another sanding disc. So long story short, that is what I'm doing here is I'm just roughing up the walls, giving the mastic and the tile something to cling onto instead of a shiny surface. So we taped everything off and then it was ready to start laying the tile and cutting the tile. So we got our tile, our ceramic mosaic tile from Menards and we just bought it in boxes. I think there was like 12 per box and we only needed like two or three. It was a pretty good deal. I Actually I think it was probably three. I don't remember entirely. Sorry guys. but. Um, we didn't use very many. I think it was a total of 25 that we used. Um, but here Mike is putting spacers in between. He's laying them out on the counter and putting spacers in between so that he can properly measure out where he needs to cut because obviously your first cut is going to be um, to make one end flush so that you can get started and you'll have a nice clean flush surface to work with. Um, I did not show Mike cutting the actual tiles I tried to, but the footage was so bad because it's a wet tile saw and there was water getting everywhere and I just figured, nah, I'm just not going to record that part, but that is what Mike is using to cut the tiles. Now here in this footage, Mike is laying the mastic, which is like the stuff that the tile sticks onto, onto the wall. Sorry guys, this is like totally a Morgan DIY video because... I don't really necessarily know all the terms. I just kind of know what I'm doing. So anyways, we put the mastic on the wall and then you just wanna make sure you don't get too thick of a layer, not too thin of a layer. And you wanna scrape it evenly. Evenly is the biggest key here. Um, and you want to make sure you've got some good grooves um, for the tile to stick onto. You don't want it to be um, flush or like flat onto the wall. But that's what Mike is doing here is he's just laying the mastic, making sure it's even, and then he starts with laying the tiles. Um, and he also cut out around the outlet. Now when you're cutting around the outlets, you want to make sure that you use a Sharpie to measure. What's nice about the ceramic tile is that Sharpie comes right off. Um, but you do have to be a little bit careful and it's a little bit tricky. but. Um, once you get the hang of it on the first outlet, it goes a lot faster. So, and once you get around the outlets, the stuff in between goes on really fast because you don't really have to do anything, which is super awesome. But that's just what we're doing here is we're laying more tile and putting the spacers on to make sure that they are all placed evenly.
So in this clip I was showing you guys how we cut apart the mosaic tiles if we had to like cut around outlets. Um, and then we just made sure that when we cut apart the mosaics that we um, made sure that all of like the glue dots in between were also shaved off because that can affect um, the spacing in between the tiles if you leave those glue dots on, um, if you're putting a spacer in and leaving the glue dots. So anyways, Mike's just marking around another outlet here and then takes it downstairs to make some more cuts. So here I'm showing you guys all of the tile spacers once we took them out. I honestly, I think it was like a thousand tile spacers that we um, that we ended up going through. Um, but after we took the tile spacers off, it had been a good 12 hours of drying and we followed the instructions for the mastic on the back of the container. So if you guys do this at home, make sure you follow the instructions on the back. And then we laid the grout. So as you guys can see, we laid black grout and then I wiped it with these sponges. We had one to wipe it down initially and then one to wipe it clean. And then we used paper towels to kind of shine it at the end. And I'll show you guys here in a second what that method looks like. But um, again, we used a black grout and we ended up mixing it ourselves. It's a black sanded grout we mixed ourselves because we couldn't find a black in um, any of the pre-mixed um, grout. It was really weird. We There was only like charcoal or charcoal gray and none of it was a true black. So we wound up going with a bag that we found from Home Depot um, and it was um, a true black noir color. So anyways, just a little tip if you're looking for black grout, it seems to be hard to find in a pre-mixed, but we had like at Home Depot in the um, like separated the unmixed stuff that you mix yourself. Okay, so the only thing left in regards to the backsplash is the trim piece. Now I had searched all over the home improvement stores in town to see if there was any kind of ceramic trim piece. I just couldn't find anything that I was in love with. So what Mike and I had decided to do is we decided to do a wood trim piece in between the cupboard and the top of the tile. So the bottom of the cupboard and the top of the tile. Um, we did not do this um, on this particular night. I will upload some footage um, once we get that very final piece done. But this is a preview of the backsplash, pretty much done without that wood trim piece um, in between the cupboard and top of the tile. It turned out beautiful. I am obsessed with it. I think it just pulled everything together super nicely. It's not perfect by any means, but I feel like we did a pretty dang good job for getting it done in a weekend. But Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for tuning into today's video. If you like this kind of video on my channel and you like the home series on my channel, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. 
subscribe to my channel before you leave. We are doing Vlogmas right now, you guys, and I will see you tomorrow for another video. Okay, bye, you guys.